Hello folks, this is Singin' Toad, and today what I'd like to talk about is what I decided to do for the uh, handle skills of my Victorinox Fieldmaster. In a previous video, I made mention of how I took the, the handle skills from my Super Tinker, which were black, and swapped them to the uh, Fieldmaster, which were red, um, because I liked the black better. Not that I have anything against the red handle skills, I just like the black better. Uh, so anyway, I went ahead and put the black scales back on my Super Tinker, as you can see. So this is the Super Tinker, and uh, just to show you, you know, it's got the scissors, and whoops, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> and what do we have here? Of course, we have the, um, the Phillips driver, and we have the all-purpose hook. So this, of course, is the Super Tinker and not the Fieldmaster. This Fieldmaster has a saw. Um, so I... I uh, went ahead and got some new handle skills, and I have a bit of a story behind that. So I was looking at some options, and I was having some conversations with some of the people who commented on, on some of my videos suggesting different handle skill options, and down the road I might go ahead and do that, but I'll, I'll explain this as I go along here. So anyway, to those who suggested some options, I want to thank you for doing so, uh, because I do appreciate your, your suggestions, but something just happened. So... Uh, I where I where I live in uh, Central Ontario, Canada. Which, uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with uh, with Central Ontario, Canada, I live near a city called Barrie, Ontario. Okay, I'm about a half an hour drive away uh, from that from that city, but there is a city that's uh, uh, north of Barrie uh, that has a uh, a wonderful um, sports uh, uh, or. We want to call it a sporting goods store uh, that's family owned and operated, uh, and they are known as Trombley's Tackle Box. And every now and again, when I'm going through there, I stop at that store and uh, I do buy things from them because they have a fantastic selection. The staff are friendly and and uh, and well informed, and they have a good knife selection. And they also have a good Victorinox selection. And when I was happened to be in there, uh, was it last Friday night? I think it was maybe it was, I don't remember when it was, but it wasn't too long ago, a few days ago. Um, I happened to notice that they had a Victorinox knife that had the scales that I wanted, um, and it was uh, at the rate price. And I thought, hmm, instead of going and ordering the scales that I want and paying shipping and handling and waiting for them to come in and all that jazz, I would basically be about out the same money if I just bought this other knife that I don't have in my collection, that model, uh, so I'm gaining a knife that I don't have, and I'm gaining the handle skills, and I just have to do a little switcheroo. So that's what I went ahead and did. So without any further ado, we're gonna get into that. So there we go. Check that out. What do you guys think? Does candle print look cool on, on a field master? I think it does. So, uh, so yeah, so as you can see, obviously I got the camel print, uh, uh, scales, which are really, really cool. And, you know, uh, I'm into outdoorsy wilderness sort of stuff. You know, when I'm hunting and stuff like that, I wear camel print. Uh, and of course when I'm, you know, doing the firearms hunt, I'm, I'm wearing the, the orange, uh, as required. Uh, and as you should, uh, always, uh, you know, I'm not going to give you a hunting lesson here, but always abide by your, your, your local, uh, laws, um, for any sort of, uh, sporting activities, you know, whether it be fishing, hunting, whatever. Uh, boating, whatever it might be, abide uh, abide by your local laws, okay? Uh, and just a disclaimer, I am not a legal authority here, so always check your local laws about that. But anyway, um, we can all enjoy the outdoors responsibly, right? That is the goal. But uh, yeah, so I got these camel print scales. And you might be asking, well, what knife did you get that had these scales on it? Well, that's this guy right here. This here is the um, Spartan. So I have a Tinker, and of course I have the Super Tinker, which of course is right here. Um, but the Spartan is basically the Tinker. The only difference is that it has the corkscrew as opposed to the um, uh, the Phillips driver. So I didn't have a Spartan in my collection, and this guy here was, I think it was about 40 bucks, and he had these scales on it, and I thought, hmm... I can get a knife that I don't have in my collection, get the scales that I uh, that, that uh, appeal to me, and just do a quick switcheroo. And now I have, you know, my SAK, my EDC SAK, uh, with the scales that I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so what I also wanted to quickly make mention is that, uh, and I've had this comment a couple times now about, you know, why carry a Swiss Army knife? Why don't you just carry a, a, a multi-tool? Well... I do carry a multi-tool. Uh, this is my Leatherman Charge. This is the Charge TTI Plus. Whoops, and I don't 
don't mind me while I fumble it with it here. Uh, now I'm not going to go into a full review of this guy here, but basically, you know, it has the uh, the S30V uh, blade steel on the main blade. You know, all the outer tools are locking. Actually, all the tools in this thing are locking. Uh, you know, it's got the the serrated blade. It's got the uh, the saw. Uh, it has uh, obviously the knife, and it has uh, what else? Which one am I missing here? So, what am I missing? Oh yeah, the file. That's what I'm missing. Uh, then of course it's got all the the internal tools, and of course it has the the pliers. Um, uh, plus this one here does have the uh, the bit kit, uh, so I have all these extra bits that go into the uh, into the bit driver. So anyway, I do carry a uh, a multi tool on me every single day, um, but there are times when it's just too bulky or too big and uh, or I just you know maybe around the house and I just don't want to carry it you know this will find its way into my pocket and this you know functions as a nice little uh, uh, multi-tool this is also great for around the camp because it's got that that saw blade okay so I love the super tinker and you know the field master is just the super tinker but a little bit better a little bit more appealing to someone who goes out into the field a master of the field Okay, that's enough of the bad puns for today. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I just wanted to show that uh, uh, there and, and, and explain it and, uh, and say that, you know what, just because I have these skills doesn't mean that this will be the be-all end-all. I might still look at getting in some titanium skills. I am also considering some brass skills. Uh, I think I saw it on Patty's, uh, Patty Potato Peelers. Uh, he did a, a video not too long ago, uh, where he had a Rambler, I think it was a Rambler, a Victorinox Rambler with brass skills, and th that was sick. Um, so maybe this guy could be wearing a set of brass skills sometime in the, in the not so distant future. Or who knows? I'm interested in getting a Rambler. Maybe I'll get a Rambler with brass skills. You just never know with me. Uh, you know, here on Singing Toad Channel, any way the wind blows, that's where I head. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, uh, what I also just wanted to do uh, right now is just take a, a moment here, and uh, and I just wanted to thank uh, all those who participated in my last uh, uh, open tag, the uh, my five favorite uh, uh, SAK challenge. Um, you know, I'm I'm flattered, greatly flattered, and and I really appreciate the responses, and more so, I appreciate the shoutouts that I received from those channels, and even more importantly the support from the subscribers of those fantastic channels and those very genuinely nice people. They came over to my channel, they said some nice things, some of them subscribed, and that just blows me away. I am absolutely floored by that. So, um, by no means was I ever looking for any type of, uh, you know, pat on the back here or, or whatever, but, um, you know, I, I just don't know how to express this in the words, uh, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for all of you who, who, who participated. Uh, you know, if, if you uh, uh, have come from another channel over here to check me out, if you subscribe to me, I really, really appreciate that. And uh, and going forward, we're we're going to keep this uh, this crazy train rolling down the tracks. And uh, who knows what Singing Toad's going to do next? Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you very much. This is Singing Toad signing out. Have an awesome day.